One of the most common things to remember about helmets is helmets do not prevent concussions. If helmets uh, prevented concussions, we wouldn't be talking about concussions as much as we do. Uh, helmets were, are really designed to prevent skull fractures and lacerations to um, the head, face, uh, and sometimes neck, depending on what position it's in. So if you look on the inside of the helmet, um, you can see that the padding is sort of centered around the vital structures of the head, the temporal bone, the occipital bone, and the frontal bone. And again, that's to protect you from blows to the head, whether it's from a puck, a stick, the ice, the boards, um, or another player. Uh, the technology is evolving all the time and you can see this um, helmet has somewhat of a suspension system in it and the theory there is that you suspend um, the padding sort of away from your head so if you do get a blow to the head the helmet will rotate around your head without sort of directly affecting your skull and brain. Um, that's going to take some years and more technology modification before it gets to the point where it can prevent concussions. Uh, when we look at a helmet, also ear pieces are very important and something as simple as um, the chin strap. You want to make sure that when the chin strap is done up, it's snug and you can only fit um, a finger between the chin strap and somebody's neck. Uh, it's easy for helmets to fall off if the chin strap's not on properly, if it's a strong enough blow to the head. You want to make sure the helmet fits snug and that it doesn't restrict a player's vision or the direction that a player can move their head. Um, also important is the um, CSA sticker. Uh, these are required in Canada that all hockey players um, have a CSA sticker on their head, helmet and then also on their face mask. Uh, if you're going to buy any used equipment and it doesn't have a CSA sticker on the helmet then uh, don't buy the helmet. It's just simply removing this sticker, also the helmet is no longer CSA approved, so keep that sticker on. One thing to remember as soon as you put a visor or a cage on a helmet is it's going to tilt the helmet forward a little bit on the head. Now you have weight on the face or in the facial area of the helmet and it's going to um, start pulling the helmet forward. So again the helmet must be fit snugly on the head and when you're putting the cage on you want to make sure that the cage engages in the clip all the way. Once it's engaged in the clip, the player's chin should rest in the chin strap in a manner where you could fit about one finger in between the chin and the pad. Um, again, there's straps that you want to do to make sure uh, that the cage is on um, in a snug manner and if the player moves his head in any direction that the helmet isn't sliding around and it's secure. Uh, the cages also have CSA stickers on them, um, so you should make sure that cages are CSA approved. When you look at the front and when a player's got a helmet on, um, their eyes should be able to see um, through these um, two bars if they're just looking straight ahead. So you want to make sure that the cage is sized effectively and appropriately as well.